Hey guys, Jesus here, and today we are going to be reacting to the She-Hulk trailer. This is the official trailer. We didn't even get a teaser. Well, yeah, we did. We, we got like a, we got kind of a teaser. I think it was a part of like the Disney Plus Day presentation. Um, but this is the official trailer. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is going to be not the upcoming Marvel Disney Plus show. The next one is Miss Marvel, but I believe this one is going to be after that. Um, and... I'm interested in it. So the title is She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Um, so I, I guess that's a kind of a cool title because I, one of She-Hulk's things is that she's a lawyer, apparently. Um, I've never read a She-Hulk comic book. I've never seen her in anything, really. So I don't really know that all that much about the character, aside from things that I've heard. Um, and, um, and yeah, so... But uh, things that have been rumored is that this is apparently going to be much more of a comedy than other Marvel things. Like, a lot of Marvel stuff is, like, funny. But I think this one is going, like, head first into this is a straight-up, like, comedy thing, which is interesting. I don't know if... I don't know if that's going to play super well. Um, I, I've also heard that there's going to be some, like, breaking the fourth wall elements. I'm not, like, Deadpool kind of stuff, and I'm not sure how that's going to play, but... We're just going to hit play and see how, how the, my first impression of the trailer. So let's go. You know what? I totally forgot to put on my headphones. It's probably, it's probably a good thing to do <laughs> for a trailer reaction. Will I cut this out to make it be more professional? Who knows? Who knows if that's a thing that I'm going to do? Probably not. Probably not. You're you're just gonna watch. You're just gonna witness witness me fumble around. Um. Okay. All right. Let me let's, let's start playing it again. Okay. Let's go. Being a superhero. Uh, that's Mark Ruffalo, right? Is a trial by fire. Who's gonna protect the world if not people like you? There she is. Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. A uh, demanding job. We just started a superhuman law division, and I want you to be oh, okay. the face of it. Oh, it's and abomination. It's frustrating family. Because we didn't ask for this, but you still got to deal with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo is just straight up in it. Anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Oh. True. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> okay, so to be a normal, I guess it it comes out when she's scared or nervous, maybe. Story now. Girl, your ass looks crazy right now. Okay. You could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason true okay is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s yeah this is the best date i've had in a while oh should we split some fries let's get those to go <laughs> oh gosh you know what i was <laughs> i wasn't gonna bring it up but <laughs> I just, <laughs> I don't, listen, the internet is horny. <laughs> we know this. And I just, you know, the, the, the gates have been opened. Remember that Resident Evil game with the, with the, with the nine foot tall vampire lady? We know what's happening, and the fact that the fact that what we just saw there straight up in this, I, I, uh, I, I dread, I, I dread what's gonna happen on the internet with uh, with She Hulk, but um, but okay, so that was the official trailer, and I thought it was decent. Um, you know, um, I, 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 it, it, I mean, I will say so. 
I we didn't see any like breaking of the fourth wall, and I don't think we saw like any more comedy in this than we would have seen in another Marvel property. But, um, but I I I, I thought that was cute. Um, you know, we're this seems a lot. L- I don't know like it's it's interesting it doesn't necessarily feel like a marvel thing in the sense that i'm not really sure if there's gonna be like an overarching villain like abomination is in this but i don't know that he's gonna be the villain right because you know he was kind of shown as not a bad guy in shang 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 chi um so yeah like there's not like an immediate villain popping out to me i mean they're those guys with guns so maybe there's gonna be some kind of corporation I'm sure, like the the govern the secret the government agent guy who's starting the superhero law whatever thing. He's probably gonna be a shady government guy who's gonna end up being a villain. I'm just throwing that out there, but um, but yeah, I I think that's interesting that there's no like immediate villainous threat necessarily, and you know I like the idea that. At the out at the beginning of the show, She Hulk is being positioned as not a superhero. Like she just kind of wants to be a lawyer. She doesn't want to be an Avenger. Um, I think that's pretty cool. I'm sure you know that's going to be part of her arc. Is her you know becoming more confident in herself and her becoming a hero. Um, and uh, and yeah, so I, I I think it looks interesting. I. I I, I actually haven't seen Tatiana Maslany in anything. I know that she was in Orange is the New Black, I think. Um, but I, I never watched that show, so I don't really have any opinions on her there. I will say, I think the, the I think the biggest thing that I was worried about is the CGI, because this is an, a, sh- a show, and you know they they have to have this full on CGI Hulk, two of them apparently, and um. Well, let me just get that out of the way. Um, and it's not terrible, but it, it, it there are definitely moments where I'm like, okay, yeah, this is a, a show. It is a Disney Plus MCU show, so it has more of a budget than your average television thing, but it's still not quite at that movie quality, but that's fine. I, I Honestly, I think it's good enough that I don't think it's too jarring for me personally. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, I just think it looks fun. I'm I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be intrigued and I'm intrigued by this. I think it's, I think it's interesting that both Miss Marvel and this are kind of, they're, they're kind of hitting these tones that are like, you know, this is a lot like, I feel like Miss Marvel is definitely going to appeal to like kids and this She-Hulk show seems like it's going to maybe try and appeal more to, like, you know, like, you're more, like, female-oriented. Maybe you're, like, tween audiences that are, like, like this, like, if this wasn't a, a Marvel thing, I feel like it's something that my sister would want to watch, you know? Um, so I, I think that's interesting. So we shall see uh, where, if this is good or not. Um, I obviously don't know. I can't go to the future and watch the show. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think Miss Marvel looks cool. And uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to like the video. Uh, Hulk, smash the subscribe button. I hate myself. I don't know why I did that. I, I, you know what? I don't. I'm not gonna pump myself anymore. Goodbye.